welcome to CC fashion in this video you're going to learn how to make this beautiful senator top over here it's actually a wonderful one there is a technique that you need to follow to making this beautiful outfit if you look at the back part of it you'll see the yoke and all the senator swags on it so let's move right into the video but subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification to start with i have my materials here these are the materials i'm going to use to making it so i'm just taking my top i have my back panel and my front panel put together and i'm going to start drafting on it right away so we are not just going to make it detail if you don't know how to draft your senator top please check out on my videos i have a tutorial step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draft this so we quickly just gonna make the uh, drafting just as normal senator the only difference is that at the back part I have my slit allowance so having slanted my shoulder and cutting it off I had to adjust it back to normal position and fold over the back part as usual and I'm going to use a steam iron to make it flat and I've ironed it down then at this point I'm going to take my shoulder measurements and I'm using my shoulder measurements plus one inch remember you have to add one inch for making this style you have to make your shoulder measurements plus all your allowances and extra one inch since you're going to slash open the shoulder so I'm taking that at two points and I'm marking my armhole depth connecting the lines as usual and I have done all the marking there then coming to the chest I also have to mark my chest measurements quarter of it I am marking it and I added one inch quarter of an inch I added one inch plus all my necessary allowances the same thing I'm doing at the waistline and on the hips line so i have to virtually add one inch to all my measurements starting from the shoulder measurement to the chest measurement the waist measurement the hips measurement i added one inch since i'm simply going to slash this cloth open and I'm closing it back it's going to exhaust the one inch so at this point i have marked my slit and i have marked my uh, hemline everything is just moving smoothly so after I have marked all those things the next thing is to locate where my pockets will start so that I will know the uh, slit space or slit allowance that I'm going to add so at this point I am marking my neck depth my neck width and I'm trying to bring out my neck curves so I'm just simply going to curve it out if you don't know how to do all these things check on my video on how to cut a senator that one is detailed and explanatory self-explanatory and it's easy to follow so I go ahead to cut my neck line now notice how I'm cutting it, it it's looking so professional anytime you want to make something like this make sure that you are making it to be professional nothing but professional okay so at this point I have finished marking the front part and I'm also connecting the neck depth of the back parts remember the back neck depth is usually one inch so i'm done connecting and i am cutting it off to give my proper and professional neck you can see how it's looking already now if you look at the back part you have seen my slit space so don't forget that i have my slit space you don't want to add your slate no problem so i'm moving ahead to curve my armhole and after covering my armhole i'm going to probably take the front armhole so here the front armhole is looking different from the back armhole 
the difference is that you have to come in a little remember you don't want all those creases on your outfit especially the chest part of it close to the armhole to be twisting up and down so i'm done with everything and i move ahead to cut it out cut out the back armhole first before the front armhole as usual so when i'm done cutting it i'm simply going to take note of um, where two inches is from the shoulder you can see i'm marking it two inches then i now take the measurement what is left over that is 8.5 inches and i'm going to mark the 8.5 inches down to the full length so take note of that i'm marking 8.5 inches to the full length and i will connect it with a straight ruler to give me a straight line so after connecting it i'm just uh basically going to slit it open this is where everything lies i'm going to slit it open to give me a professional vibe then i'll pick up my scissors and i cut here i'm done cutting it i'm done slitting it open i'm going to use this to cut on another material and that's what i'm doing so far i'm cutting the side that i cut out from the senator that is what i'm placing on the another material to cut the same size the same shape everything the same if you wish you can add a little allowance to the down parts of it because after joining it you may experience a shortage of fabric on the smaller part of it that's the other fabric that you have replaced when you're joining it it may not be the same so you may likely leave like have an inch on the bottom part of your pattern what you are just using to trace out the pattern so i'm done with this as such the black now is useless because i'm not going to use that i'm going to use this material instead of the black that is it all about cutting and that is what i have these are my pattern pieces my sleeve if you don't know how to draft a sleeve just check on the channel i have a video tutorial on this and i have my strap my long strap for making that uh, look that looks like uh an agbada i hope you know agbada <laughs> okay so don't forget to like this video share and subscribe to as many people as possible i'm going to load um how to sew these step by step if that's what you're interested in leave your comments below it's only your comments that will motivate me that i will know that oh my viewers really they are interested in making this outfit so i'm going to upload a video on how to sew it step by step thank you for staying tuned bye bye for now